Today on Light Chasers, we talk about cool video lights you can get at uh, Walmart and also uh, music videos with rappers with Shane Gray. This is season one, episode four. Let's get it. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Light Chasers. My name is Brian Fitton. This is the podcast for a new generation of photographers. Thank you so much for joining us today. I am super pumped about the episode we have for you. Um, this is our very first filmmaker episode, and it's with Shane Gray. You can check him out at Shane Michael Gray on Instagram and then also grayvisuals.com. And uh, this guy. I've actually uh, knew I've known him for quite a while, but we just recently reconnected. Um, he was really one of the first guys that really supported the podcast and what we were doing. So it it was only I mean to be honest with you, I started looking at a lot of his work and stuff that he's done over the past few years, and kind of like I said, reconnected with Shane. And uh, it was really cool because this guy's been doing a lot of really really good work um, and doing especially some stuff in the music music field and with musicians and rappers and different things like that so he's got a he's got a def, definitely a different take uh when it comes to filmmaking so anyway i'm super pumped about it we're gonna jump into it here in just a second but i did want to ask a favor of you guys uh if you could please leave an itunes rating uh or review in in apple Podcasts or i guess itunes now it's called Apple Podcast now, but it's iTunes. But anyway, uh, it would really, really help us to be able to obviously reach more people. Um, our ratings and reviews just rank us higher in the podcast rating. So anyway, I would love a rating or review on iTunes. Um, and actually, we're, we're still kind of looking for our first. So that first person um, that gives us a review, I will send you a Light Chasers t-shirt. How about that? So make sure you contact me after you leave your review and let me know, and uh, we'll get a t-shirt out to you. Hey, that's, that's a pretty cool incentive, right? T-shirt? Yeah. Anyway. Um, all right, so we're going to go ahead and kick off the interview with Shane Gray right now. Shane, hey, dude. Thanks, What's up? Uh, thanks for tuning in again. <laughs> What's here. up again? We're, we're actually working this time. We I know. This, we had this awesome conversation for about three minutes, and then... Uh, it was so genuine. <laughs> We really, actually, really was. It really was. You you brought up some some old memories of let's see the upstairs and in, in Fort yeah. Smith and yeah. uh, Kyle Kyle Ross and Josh Sykes. Josh Sykes, yeah. The Remembrance guys. So, Just chill, uh, chilling in the hardcore scene back in the day. <laughs> back in the day when we all had long hair and. Oh my gosh, we really did. Yeah, and girl jeans. Girl G. That's what I was about to say. There really wasn't like, <laughs> oh man, we're bringing up some some bad. No, my my parents thought I had like issues, <laughs> like they really did. So no lie, I had the, honestly the girl jeans were super comfortable, and this is before so like I had, they were so stretchy. Which apparently so my good. wife, my wife teases me. She's like, that means they were terrible quality. She's like, no, terrible quality. I, I, that's what I thought. I was like, it means they're amazing. The opposite exactly and so um anyway so yeah she when we i think when we just started dating i was kind of joking about my my music scene days and and she was like you're throwing us out so she literally made, <laughs> which i'm okay with because i have newer jeans that are pretty much skinny jeans now and those are I mean, super comfortable too so i mean they make guy jeans that are stretchy now anyway so that's true that's true they so finally caught up we don't have to feel as bad so <laughs> no anyway <laughs> All right, dude. Hey, thanks again for uh, for joining us. And uh, I'm super pumped because honestly, we haven't reconnected in so long. And so when yeah. uh, we started kind of talking through this and, and you were kind of giving some feedback on the podcast, which I appreciate and I'm open. So any, anybody uh-huh. who tunes in and has ideas and stuff, which Shane started immediately commenting and, and talking <laughs> about how you liked it, which was awesome. Um I'm open to that. But when we started talking again, I was like, I didn't even, I, I kind of kept up with you. And then I saw some of the work that you've been doing and I'm just blown away, dude. Um, oh, thanks, man. Yeah, absolutely. So, but first let's talk through really your story and how, how you transitioned from scene kid 
like we all yeah. did, uh, yeah. to to what you're doing now. So where where were your influences and what uh, what kind of transpired through all that? Uh, it's a super loaded question. Um, <laughs> uh, well, I I guess it was I would say that I uh, was interning at a church, um, Harvest Time, which is here in town, and I didn't want to do music anymore. I decided I wanted to do something else. Uh, and so I asked uh, the guy over everything. I was like, hey, just put me somewhere else. Put me not in music because I'm going to do music regardless anyway. Uh, so I did that. And he was like, yeah, maybe you should do like media or something. And I was like, okay, I've never done media in my life. So I um, decided to do that. And then uh, yeah, he put me, uh, over video and it was, it was super weird. Uh, the first thing I shot, I had to ask, uh, how to turn on the camera, uh, which was super weird. Uh, that's awesome. so, I mean, <laughs> did like, you lose me? Where's the on button? Like, where do we, what do we do there? I, I know thought that. you just like left. <laughs> I'm out, dude. I want, I wanted you to have the screen space. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, good. Anyway, uh, yeah, I had to ask how to uh, turn on the camera, and it was super embarrassing. And uh, yeah, that was like two thousand, I think like two thousand nine. So uh, that's where I started. That's the first video thing I ever did. Um, so I did that, and uh, did that for two years in uh, that internship, and eventually. Uh, just a lot of weird jobs, a lot of changing my mind on what I wanted to do with my life. Uh, man, it's such a loaded question. <laughs> Seriously, just a lot of failure. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that was like 2009. I did these things called multimedia dramas, which is like half live, half video. Okay, explain um, that because I don't. I honestly yeah. Don't. Okay. Well, basically, it's. It's like a play, but half of the play is on screen. Hmm. So, like in churches, there's like the huge projector screens and stuff. So the video would play on that. And so oh, I was man. I was over all the video aspects of that stuff because we like toured around and did them at like local churches and stuff. So that was so, kind of my start to that. Yeah. Um. So I'm gonna stop you real quick because that yeah. actually makes sense. Uh, White collar sideshow does that. And I yeah. had never seen that before. And so, I mean, I worked with them way back in the day and did promo pictures and stuff for them. Yeah, they're and great. That, that was actually, that was pretty cool to see in person. So my, my first show that I saw with them was videos on screen where they would cut back and forth to them and then also just them playing. And that yeah. was, I mean, it was definitely groundbreaking. So that's that's kind of cool that that's, that's where you started. Those too. guys are so creative, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, I just kind of started there and... Uh... I, I tried to go to school for graphic design and failed miserably. I think I went for a year and realized I hated drawing. Um, you might need that. Yeah. So I hated drawing and it was just, I don't know. It just didn't feel right. So, so what was a, uh, let's see. So what was a moment that you really, you know, felt comfortable on the camera and then all of a sudden really started because you have a unique editing style, which I really uh, have grown to have an appreciation for uh, because oh, I'm, very, I'm very boring in my video editing <laughs> and uh, you have some, some very cool techniques, but kind of what was oh, the moment that you were like, this is, this is really happening. Like I'm, I'm pretty decent at this and I enjoy this. And obviously I'm producing something that's pretty cool. Right. Um, I mean, when I was interning, my stuff wasn't good, but it felt so good to, like, put something out mm -hmm. that I was proud of at the time. N now I look at it and it looks horrible, but <laughs> that was the first time I got I got really excited about something I had made. And then, uh, I don't know, probably not until this year I got really comfortable releasing stuff and putting my name on it. Uh, yeah, probably not until this year I got really really comfortable i think okay well and so it's just such a huge about, learning curve you know oh yeah oh absolutely especially especially in the video space and i'm i'm photographer converted to video guy and i 
it's almost like the photography world I enjoyed, but then once I got into videos, it was like a so whole, much fun. Yeah, there was so many things that you could do, and right. not saying that you can't do that with photography, but I'm just I've never been a graphic artist, so I never really enjoyed Photoshop. Like I, I did the basics right. what I needed to do, but with yeah. video, it seemed like I could create whatever I wanted to. Um, so let's talk a little bit because you're you're kind of in. You've done some cool promo stuff for. Uh, apparel and musicians and i mean i enjoy that world and that's kind of where my my passion yeah. projects go um but how did you get connected with with uh, a couple of these guys and the people that you're working with now um well the the uh he was my old roommate he owns the apparel company and so it was pretty easy i mean i already knew him and he's like, hey, I'm throwing, you know, this huge party and I'm bringing in this rapper. And I was like, oh, that's cool. And he's like, I mean, you can come shoot or something. I'm like, okay. So, uh, yeah, a lot of the other guys, I just I just knew from uh, either I used to go to church with them or they used to go to shows um, back in the day. Um, yeah, a lot of them are just friends. And then uh, a lot of them would connect me with other people other people in the scene, whether it be the rap scene or like the, you know, hardcore scene or whatever. It's just like, you know how it goes. It's just like friends of friends of friends of friends. Yeah. <laughs> like, so this dude's got a camera. Like he'll come over. He'll, he'll shoot for you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and and I've, I've never been afraid to promote myself. I'm like, Hey, you need a video. Hey, you need a video. Hey, you ever thought about doing a music video? You know, just so <laughs> annoying. And then every once in a while, someone's like, Oh, you do music videos. And I'm like, yes. Like get so stoked. Absolutely. So, yeah. Absolutely. Well, hey, let's uh, let's real quick let's open it up for some questions to see if anybody has anything for Shane. Um, we'll jump over. Oh, so we have our our old friend, uh, yours and mine, Mister uh, Phil oh, Wells, gosh. coming from White Collar Sides. He heard us. Talking <laughs> he, he's like, I got to get in on this. So, uh, uh, no. You got some other love here, John Morris. Uh, talking through, and uh, also Jacob Kirby. So some some people showing up. That's right. That's right. So uh, Shane, let's uh, let's kind of uh, let's talk through even just a little bit of um, kind of your inspirations when you when you're when you're out there, obviously doing videos and and whatnot. What are I guess I don't know if it's even directors or people like that, but what do you kind of draw some of your inspiration from? Uh, I mean, that's a good question. I mean, I'm, I'm on Vimeo all the time, like all the time. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Vimeo is kind of like a high quality YouTube. Uh, so I'm on Vimeo all the time watching stuff. Um, I have like my favorite directors, my favorite like DPs and like cinematographers and stuff. So, uh, just a lot of, a lot of different people. Um, and like with the music video thing, like, I still watch music videos and enjoy them all the time. Um, you can ask my wife, like I'm on YouTube so much, just like taking in content. Uh, so yeah, just a ton of, I, I mean, just everyday life. I mean, it just, it really depends on who the person is. Um, mm -hmm. Kind of how I determine how their video is going to look, um, what their story is. Um, I mean, it's like the difference between like a commercial video and a music video. They're just so different. And that's, that's very true. I'm actually showing on, on our screen here, just some, a little bit of Vimeo and we haven't really talked about it um, on the podcast before. So if you ever get a chance, there's definitely the staff picks. I'm always very, they're so good. It. Yeah. They're so good. They really do bring out like a wide range of different uh, filmmakers and styles and different things like that. So, uh, yeah. But anyway, uh, yeah, that's uh, dude. There's definitely, definitely a lot of of inspiration that comes through there. And you're right when it comes to commercial videos compared to a music video. So let's so let's kind of go into the music video space. So um, when you're working with an artist, you what are, what are some typical questions, or you just kind of get a feel for who they are um, before you jump in? I guess to I mean it. It really does. It really does depend on the person, some people like, uh, like Cliz who I've shot two videos for, he's so wants to be in on the creative side of it. Um, normally when we talk about a video, he's like, Hey, I have this idea already. 
um, I want to do this, this, and this. And he's like, so can you take this and turn it into some, like something else? You know what I mean? Or turning it, or just kind of take it and run with it. Um, so there's some people who are like just super into, um, I guess they're kind of like co-directing their own video. Yeah, or they're yeah. coming up with the concept before. Some people are like, uh, yeah, can you like write out an idea or something? We don't know. <laughs> We're just musicians. So I'm like, okay, that's cool too. That's uh, actually a little more freeing because then you can just take it. That's the best. And, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, unless they like hate all your ideas, but <laughs> true. that's always super fun. So oh, I try yeah. and write down. If I have an idea, I try and write it down uh, somewhere because nice. I'm not going to remember it in five minutes. So. Nice, nice. Yeah. That's awesome, dude. Okay, so uh, we're going to go into right now, we're going to do, um, let's take a look at a few of the videos. And actually I have um, the Him Apparel video, and we'll we'll put that one up, and we can kind of talk through that real quick. So you can kind of see. So this was actually this year. Yeah, this was like a month ago or two months ago. It wasn't that oh, long ago. So what was the venue? I'm sorry, I didn't even miss it up front. That was just uh, downtown in Him Apparel's uh, pop-up shop. They were there for a week. And uh, that was just on Garrison Avenue, downtown Fort Smith. Um, completely renovated the room. Uh, they just did, like, an amazing job. Like, I, it felt like we were in, like, New York or something, the way it looked. Um, you can see, like, the those like ice lights, like those just look so cool. And they just did a great job with lighting design and stuff in there. So that's what that was. Um, yeah, that video was insane to shoot because it was just a huge party. And uh, he played on the floor. Uh, so there was just this huge circle around him. And so I was just like getting like, <laughs> like beer spilled on me and like, just like pushing people around and stuff. It was so fun though. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it looks really chaotic and that's because it was, uh, <laughs> it was just like so crazy, but it was so fun though. That show was really fun. That is awesome, dude. And that yeah. looks, to be honest with you, I kind of, I actually like the aspect of it to where it's not just a stage, but then that, that makes it completely different. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because most, most videos you see like this, somebody's on stage, somebody's, you know, it's like, that's the center of attention and they're definitely separated from the crowd. But it felt like a crazy. hardcore show. It felt like yes. a hardcore show. It, Cause, because he was telling people to mosh and stuff. It was like the craziest thing ever, <laughs> but it was so fun though. Yeah. That's he's, awesome. he's a sweetheart. So, <laughs> so tell it what, I mean, I don't even know anything about him. He's, he's originally from little rock. Um, he lives in LA now oh. um, doing his thing out there. But yeah, he's originally from Little Rock. And when I shot this, I literally met him that day. And uh, wasn't sh I honestly wasn't even sure if I was going to shoot him because um, I shot a lot of other stuff. And I, he started and I like instantly kind of fell in love with his style and kind of his aesthetic. And so I was like, okay, I'm shooting this guy like for sure. Yeah. And so I had my camera and I just, even though I was scared from my camera, uh, I, <laughs> like protect uh, the whole time. Just oh my gosh, yeah. I was. It was so fun though, and he, he's just a sweetheart. He's such a nice guy. You wouldn't know that from watching his show or like going, going. Yeah, he's crazy, but he's super cool. And I shot it, and uh, I think I did the edit in like two days or something. Oh, nice. And. Uh, yeah, and sent it to him, and he was just, like, beyond stoked. Um, so, yeah. That's that, was, that was fun. Yeah. All right, so we're going to bring up a uh, another video here. Give me just a sec. So, Cliz. Yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm interested in this dude. <laughs> because, uh, this is very interesting to me. So, let me uh, yeah. a second here. We'll uh, bring this dude up. So, this this is a cool concept for a video. And I mean, to be honest with you, I mean, I was cruising through your channel when we first started talking and uh, you kind of have, kind of have this, this feeling on, on several of these, but this is, this is definitely mm -hmm. a, a very well done video. So. Oh, uh, thanks man. Let's pull this one up. So where yeah. is this setting too? That, that is in my neighborhood. Uh, all the streets are in my neighborhood. Um, <laughs> We were just like running around at like 
midnight or one in the morning shooting this. Uh, I didn't use any external lighting. Uh, street lights. I yeah, I just used street lights, and that abandoned looking building is the building in my backyard. <laughs> um, <laughs> I know it looks it looks so cool, and then that other shot of him with the lights was uh, uh, that was also in the same room. I just set up another uh, little area to shoot in. So, I mean, when you're working with like a zero dollar budget, I mean, you kind of have to get creative and. But it definitely does not look, I mean, it no. doesn't look zero dollar. And that's. No, yeah, you would never know. Yeah. That's and the goal. So that's, uh, I mean, just pulling these, I mean, it looks like you had a set to build. And then, but the aesthetic, though, it plays into the additional B roll footage that you're throwing in there as well. Like it all flows together. Like he could literally yeah. be standing right down the block from what's like everything that's happening in this. Right, like, right. But yeah, this, the whole video was his idea. Um, he he sent me the song and was like, just kind of listen to it and vibe on it and see what you think. Uh, and I listened to it, and then he was like, yeah, I just want to, like, burn a bunch of Confederate flags. And I was like, okay, <laughs> that's cool. Uh, because, I don't know, I I felt – that this was the first video that I really felt like – I don't know the story of the song and I kind of felt like a weight to like carry that out for him. Cause he trusted me. Mm -hmm. um, that was the second video I'd done for him. And the first video was kind of just like a uh, performance. And then this was more of like kind of story based and kind of had a certain aesthetic and a certain look that he wanted. So yeah, actually I'm going to stop it on this part. So mm -hmm. what were you doing with lighting here? What was the, uh, how did you play off this? This is this is very interesting to me. I mean, look honestly, right down the middle, like you have yeah. like hard contrast with light there. So what's uh talk about that? Video. Um okay, so we were um we went into that building in my backyard, we turned off all the lights, and then I uh let's see. <laughs> this is so stupid. I took <laughs> I took two light bulbs I bought from Walmart, a red one and a blue one, and I taped them to mic stands. And then I think I think I put some sort of diffuser or something on each one, and then uh, I had a hazer in there too, so that's why it's kind of kind of foggy looking. And then I, uh, yeah, just kind of jerry rigged it until I <laughs> kind of had the look I wanted. At, at that time, at that time, I had zero lights. Um, I didn't own any any lights. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I went to Walmart, and I, I think I spent like. Well, this video did have a budget. I think I spent like fifteen bucks. So <laughs> that sounds about right. That's at Walmart. That's well. I mean, here's the deal: is you this honestly shows that you don't have to have a massive budget to make something look good. No. And uh, to be honest with you, I mean, I would have never thought that. I would have <laughs> I thought you had <laughs> definitely some can lights with diffusers, maybe no, a chino there. You know, like. Just yeah. all of this stuff, and that's that's definitely uh, that's cool to actually be able to say, hey, I, I produce this without having having a budget. And to be honest with right. you, when you work with clients, I mean, typically they don't have a massive budget, and if they do, no. they're putting it in different places. And so, right, um, when you're able to say, hey, I produce this, we spent 15 bucks on this video. Like, yeah, it was insane. amazing. That's yeah, insane. and awesome. that that other performance shot was a light bulb taped to a mic stand with a diffuser in front of it just one light bulb <laughs> so crazy. yeah that is crazy all right and so now we're going to uh i'm going to pull up real quick the uh trey norwood and i want you to kind of give some some perspective on who trey is and yeah and set this up too okay so uh so this is uh a series I did for uh, Times Record. Um, I want to say this is maybe my first job I got uh, in video since I quit my day job. Nice. Um, so this series was like really important to me because it was the first thing I was doing after, you know, going full time. So uh, Trey is such a good kid. Um, I heard I we were talking about it before we we're going to go interview him, and I didn't know what to expect from him because he's going to uh, OU to play football. 
while well, he's playing at OU now. Um, he had maybe six schools looking at him. Uh, and when we're talking to him uh, while we're in the weight room, he's telling me, yeah, I just got back from Wake Forest. I just went to all these places. This kid's like 18. But he was like so humble about it. And he was so like excited. And he was just, he, he's just a good kid, man. Uh, with a extreme, this, he has so much talent. He's just so good. Um, and can burn you like at any point during the game. <laughs> um, but yeah, we, we interviewed him and his, uh, basketball coach, uh, coach Burnett at Northside. And, uh, yeah, he, you can just tell that he loves the game so much and that he works so hard in the off season. And because in the weight room, I was like, just go through what you normally do. And, uh, he's like, well, I don't think we have time. I'm like, all right, that's cool. <laughs> he's like, I don't have time to do a Yeah. Game. I'm like, I'm but, uh, you don't even he, know. He was the only person, uh, that I shot. Um, I went back and shot twice because, <laughs> he was just fun to hang out with and he was just into all the ideas that I had and like just hanging out. He's just a good person. Um, and I really enjoyed getting to know him a little bit. Um, but yeah, I think we interviewed people from like six schools or seven schools or something in like a two week period. Oh, wow. Um, Yeah. It was a lot. Yeah. That's awesome, dude. That's, uh, it definitely, I mean, just even the, uh, (laughs) The setup, especially the weight room. I mean, that. Uh, it was so cool. cool. Yeah, I was thinking thirty for thirty. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and that's yeah. you talk about inspiration. I mean, I can see how that played out in this. And to be honest for with sure. you, I mean, your color grading looks awesome in this as well. I mean, he's oh, his thanks, man. And stuff are showing up fantastic. Like, yeah, I just I think cool. I just bought. Okay. So new looks, I want to so. uh, let's see. We'll kind of kick it back over. Hold on just a second here. So I want I do want to kick it back over to There we go. Sorry about that. Having some difficulties. <laughs> All right. So I wanted to uh kick it back over to our our guests or our uh are people tuning in right now? And we'll kind of see uh, see what if we have any questions. Other than we have Brittany saying Shane's the best, you, you have more like you got your fan club here, man. They are they're just all about pumping up some <laughs> Shane, Shane Gray here. I've got I've got I've got some good friends. Brittany Brittany's a great photographer, by the way. Oh, She's excellent. Hey, nice, nice. Yeah. Well, we always always enjoy having other photographers on uh, the podcast as well to kind of chime in here. Um, yeah. Let's see. So John Marshall talking about you doing some great things. Oh, that's, that's my cousin. Cool. <laughs> 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 Bam. Bam. <laughs> Bam. Bam. That's right. Um, and apparently we have some mutual friends as well. Kelly. I, uh, we uh, actually showed yeah. the wedding, so we love. Really? That's cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I love Kelly. Um, okay. So, Let's uh, let's kind of go through a speed round real quick, and we can kind of talk through. Uh, to be honest with you, I, I kind of saved this. So we talked a little bit about about equipment, but um, so what was the uh, what was the very first camera that you started with? Um, I mean, my very first camera was some sort of like cool pics or something. I'm sure. <laughs> um. <laughs> that I used to take pictures with. My first actual camera was a Canon T3i. Okay, okay. Me and my uh, now wife, when we were dating, we both <laughs> went half halves on a T3i. Uh, <laughs> when we, we were trying to learn, and so I think we spent like four or 500 bucks on it, so. That's pretty awesome. That will that like bonds people together when you co-own a camera. Yeah. How did the lens situation? Did you guys upgrade lenses at all and do? Uh, lens? I think it. I think the kit lens is like an eighteen to fifty-five or something. Yeah. Uh, we just went on YouTube and watched a ton of reviews for cheap lenses, and bought the fifty-one point eight, and yes. never looked back. The nifty fifty, man. <laughs> nifty fifty. It is the best. It's by so far. good. Oh, I still, I still I use it. it. I do too. I still. I, I still, still use it. 
I have like two grand, uh, you know, camera <laughs> lenses and everything, and I still come back yeah. to that prime. That's I think we paid like eighty bucks for it, eighty or ninety bucks. It's still use up. it. It's gone up in price, which is kind of crazy here the past. Oh, past really? Years. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like 110 or 120, something like that. But yeah, it's people are buying it. <laughs> they know. <laughs> like, we're not going to do any kind of changes to it. It's still a 1.8. Everyone's like, what's this Nifty 50? And Canon's like, uh, let's. Uh... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. So talk to me about uh, kind of current cameras and what you got, what you're using right now. Um, and even, even any other non. I guess non uh, camera equipment that you enjoy, like light bulbs from Walmart, because that's <laughs> legit too. Oh, uh, I didn't have a budget. Uh, my camera right now is the Sony A7S Mark II. Love that camera's great. Um, Eddie made me want to go check out the GH5s. Yes, absolutely. So we're gonna have Eddie back on the show. Um, oh, cool. Coming up. And so we're gonna we're gonna talk a little more gear because he's yeah. he wouldn't call himself a gearhead, but he definitely he knows his he's stuff. a gearhead from what he listed off. I listen oh, to him. He yeah, so absolutely. much stuff. Absolutely. Um, I'm really not a gearhead. Um, I think I would shoot something with my phone if I had to. Hey, I just honestly, don't care. Honestly, you know the slow mo stuff. Sometimes it just looks it looks good on my yeah. phone. So yeah. Um. So yeah. Sony A7S Mark II. Um. I can't remember the name of my external monitor. It's like the ICAN. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, that's anyway, actually, it's, that's a good monitor. I have an ICAN. Yeah, and, it's nice. Uh, they're kind of coming up with quality wise, like that good yeah. range where you're just kind of, if it breaks, that's that's okay. But it's like a good quality, you know, piece yeah. of equipment to to take out on a shoot that you're not afraid to to put For sure. off, you know. So yeah. Uh, so other gear. Uh, my monopod is my favorite piece of gear I own, um, especially since I got a fluid head. Uh, it's the best. And I use that more than anything else, for sure, especially for, like, weddings and stuff when you're standing around all day. Uh, the monopod is good. Uh, I just bought some LED panels. Excited about those. Nice. Uh, Dude, it's crazy yeah. in the world of video just how many options you have now for equipment when – you know, yeah. even 10 years ago, like it was a, just a completely different world. Um, yeah. And just, I mean, honestly, I think the A7S, the Sony, I mean, the whole series has just changed video making, yeah. making um, for us guys like us. You know what I mean? Like, right. You can, you can create some phenomenal videos for not a whole lot of money. So, and it's, um, it's so small. It feels like a toy. Um, yeah. Sometimes I feel a little bit insecure showing up and like, I got my camera. And they're like, <laughs> is that a toy? Like, what is that? So, yeah. You need even the grip. So you add the grip and it's like still. I know. It's still, it's still I know. so small and you're like. I, I want to buy, I wanna buy one of those wooden, uh, what oh, it's called. Yeah. You know That's what I'm talking like, about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a buddy of mine. Actually, we shot uh, the last session with Philip Thomas at Red Barn Studio. And Jason yeah. Miller, the owner of that, he just got, it looks like it's a revolver or something. You it's cool. Like it's wooden, yeah. It's super cool. Yeah, but I I didn't think about getting a cage for it just to protect it. But yeah, absolutely. That adds yeah, some beef so. to it too. So and you yeah, you burn through those batteries in two seconds, but it's worth it. Oh yeah, the batteries are horrible on it, but yeah, <laughs> that's not the only downfall of that camera is the battery life. That uh yeah, and so fine cam. Abs- oh yeah, yeah, absolutely can't and can't go wrong with it. With the monopod and the glide cam, so mm-hmm. let's jump back over here. We have some people in the uh, in the comments, so uh, I'm not sure. I didn't, is this Ryan? Oh, that's Ryan. He he was very he's very adamant. Uh, he just kind of <laughs> coming through here. He said, Hello, can he see this? And so anyway, so we we can't I'm about to shoot. Comments. I'm about I'm about to shoot a video for him. So nice, nice. Yeah. So if Ryan, he ever, if he would ever return my text messages. <laughs> Ryan just got called out, man. Called out. I love you, Ryan. <laughs> All right, so we'll—I uh, guess we'll open it up real quick for questions. And uh, Shane, so what? So somebody starting out. This is kind of the last question I'll ask you. But what? Uh, somebody starting out. What? What would advice would you give them? Um, maybe you know somebody who says that I started on this very basic camera, but you know they want to shoot awesome music videos. What's uh, what would you sell them? 
Um, I would say just go do a bunch of stuff for free. Um, go literally just any artist in your area or whatever, just message them. You can Instagram them. There's, you can get a hold of anybody on social media now. Um, and I would say, Hey, could I like go to your show and shoot some video for you for free? And they're probably going to say yes. Mm -hmm. Um, I would just literally just message anyone you can and just go shoot them. Um, and that goes for video or photo. I mean, people aren't going to turn down free video or photo. No. So, or just, or go outside and shoot like, I don't know, your dog. If you want to shoot like bad enough, you're going to go do it. Yeah. Um, I would say that. And I would say, get on YouTube and just watch tutorials. I still do that. Oh, absolutely. I always learn. Yeah. So this, I still uh, do that now. This way. And well, it just, even the industry is changing constantly. And so there's yeah. always, I mean, it's, it's just unbelievable to keep up with, with all the changes and especially in the photography world and, and really even in the video world. Um, I mean, it's yeah. just nuts. So, um, that's awesome, dude. Well, Hey, so where can people get in contact with you? So if somebody wanted to hire you for a video, uh, music video or something, you know, maybe I wanted right. to, I got a, I got a little rap career, so maybe I might do something. <laughs> just saying. Dude, I would shoot your video tomorrow. <laughs> I would shoot that tomorrow. Uh, you can go to grayvisual.com. That's, uh, that's me. That's all the production stuff I do. Um, you can go to annemariesstudio.com. That's me and my wife. We do a lot of weddings and, and that sort of stuff. Um, so great visuals a part of that, but it's just kind of the music video, commercial video type stuff. Nice. Uh, so nice. yeah. Um, Instagram, uh, just at Shane Michael Gray on Instagram. And then your uh, uh, Vimeo page as well. The Vimeo page is just vimeo.com slash uh shane gray g-r-a-y nice nice well yeah. hey dude seriously thank you so much for jumping on the show thanks for having me and uh, absolutely man we'll it was super uh, fun this was this was cool and you guys make sure to go check out uh shane's work and also some of the artists that he has filmed and and the apparel companies it's obviously some really cool stuff so check him out social media and if you guys can jump over to our itunes page uh light chasers you can search for it there in apple Podcasts and on stitcher radio please subscribe rate and review we would absolutely love that as well because we appreciate it so anyway shane Thanks, dude. And we'll uh, we'll talk with you later. All right.